Donovan says, Dear Algorithm Hustler and React Stream Scammer, last month Yay. in India, a group of farmers organized to create a fake cricket league. They wore uniforms of real cricket teams, added fake crowd cheer noises to the stream, and broadcast the games live on YouTube. They got some Russians who were, uh, I, who I guess would bet anything, to bet on these games. The masterminds had walkie-talkies that would communicate to the umpire and the players to rig the outcome and maximize winnings. This went on for two weeks until they were shut down by the Indian government, but they made almost 4,000 USD. Some people have been that's arrested. Fucking, right. Oh, that's good in India, too, with the way the rupee... Tr oh, man, that's... That's big dollars. But the question remains, hustle or scam? That is absolutely <laughs> a scam. That is, it is, that is without a doubt. It is a scam? Clearly. It is... Com but, so the idea, right, and there's a source here with the story, and it seems that the scam is directed at uh, the Russian gamblers, and if you are scamming a scam op... Do you automatically get upgraded to hustle via double negative? Not scam. Because scamming a scammer might be a double negative. It might upgrade you into a hustle. Clean scam. Targeted? Hmm. I don't know. No, no, no. I don't no, know. <laughs> it can it, be a justified scam. But, no, it's a scam. It is a rigged fake cricket league. <laughs> you know, here, let's see. Let, let, I, I'm, 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 I don't know, man. I, I need more data. I'm kind of thinking. Um, okay, Russian gamblers were duped by a fake version of the Indian Premier League cricket. A group of farm workers pretended to be the players reaching the quarterfinal stage before authorities figured out the con and arrested the organizers. Hmm. <laughs> mm hmm. Fake rosters, fake games. Uh. They were promised uh, 400 rupees per match. Okay. Uh. They had the fake crowd going. Now I oh, fake crowd, fake crowd noises, and there's footage of the YouTube live stream with fake crowd noises. Um, now, okay, the bets. How do the bets take place? This is kind of what it, I guess it's going to come down to. Uh, they take live bets over the Telegram channel, and then they'd instruct the umpire over a walkie-talkie to signal the opposite of whichever way the bets were. <laughs> That's that's obviously that's a scam. such a scam. That is like laughably a scam. That's such a scam, dude. Oh man, damn. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, dude. Like that's a rigged ass scam. <laughs> The broadcast included the voice of someone imitating a well-known uh, Indian cricket commentator. Um, and the commentator was amused when he saw the news. Oh. They, in the first installment of bets, they made over 300,000 rupees before the authorities shut down the situation. Uh, the players agreed to cooperate with the police. Um, gamblers from all over Russia. Hmm. Uh, I've never seen it. Oh, here we go. Quote from the article. I've never seen a scam like this. These guys just cleared Literally a patch scam. of land deep inside the village and began playing a match, beaming it onto YouTube and making money through gambling. Uh, even, the local even the local villagers were not aware of this. We know very little about the Russians who were putting bets on this game. God damn, dude. <laughs> Oh, that's a scam. What a scam. That's, yeah. All right. All right. Fine. No. Um, it's a scam right there. That's big old scam. Yeah. I will, but I will institute, I will institute a house rule that, like, when you are, when you are target scamming someone who is attempting to scam you, um, 
that can be a reverse hustle. You can double reverse a hustle out of that situation. Uh, okay, all right, the refs are going to call it. That's a, yeah, that's a scam. It's, it's, it's in the article. <laughs> uh, that being said, um, it, I mean, that being said, how many times you got to call this a scam before you're like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Oh, could it be? No, no it's, it's a scam. A, it's a scam, but there's 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 some hustle to that scam that you gotta respect. <laughs> no, all scams are hustles. You gotta but respect. Not all hustles are scams. Right, right, right. You gotta. You, the, the, but not every scam. That's the thing is, I would have thought that every scam I, is not respectable, right? Up until this point. In my brain, a scam was not to be respected. A hustle was to be respected. But I have been no, introduced those, no, into... This is a respectable scam. <laughs> no, the, the, the respectability comes from the, the craft, not the, not the morality. Hmm. Hmm. But, but also... No, but the end take on, for example, the pizza hustle, the pizza delivery hustle, was that everyone walks away happy. Right? No, it's the morality of it. It's whether or not there was an act of active deception. Du duplicit there was no duplicity in that. People just oh. kind of tipped and were happy to get their pizza a little bit earlier. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah. That's a in good the one. pizza one, they assumed. They did assume. There was no, there was no deception. Um... Where was that? Yeah. Thanks, Donovan. Good shit. Okay. So, uh, yeah. That'll, that'll do it, folks. Okay. Everyone have a good week. Make sure to check out Wooly's React shit on Friday and mine on Saturday. You know, it'd be really crazy if they sent us the same things and then they could, they could compare... Us re oh my god uh yeah and and check the um I'll, like i guess i'm gonna make a twitter thread and i'm gonna make a reddit thread and uh we'll see how that goes um i i i look forward to it can you tell how excited i am yeah i can you look you look more excited than you've ever been that's the excitement.